Sometimes the day is just right in GTA 5 Online. It's a sunny day, it's all peaceful, there are no tryhards and then you die. This is what I like to call a mood killer. And today I will be presenting many mood killers that kill my mood in GTA 5 Online. And if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe and leave a like. It really does help me out a lot. I wouldn't say it if it didn't. And I love you all. Enjoy the video. One of my biggest mood killers as a car guy is when you just finish fixing your car from the LS Customs and then an NPC blatantly crashes into you. Now in this clip, I was looking away from the screen, so it, it was easily preventable if I was looking, but I was looking at something else, so I crashed and then the NPC got repercussions for it. But even though the NPC got punished, it's still very annoying when this happens because now you have to go back to the custom shop, fix your car again, or return it to storage and then call it back in. Either way, you are wasting time. A side note is when you're just driving in general and an NPC crashes into you. This is very annoying when you're doing an import export mission or a tow truck mission. And it's just overall very annoying. And I don't know why NPCs are like this. Hopefully GTA 6 fixes it. The second mood killer on this list is when you're just minding your own business and a tryhard comes out of nowhere and just blows you up for absolutely no reason at all. Now in this footage, I'm the one doing it, but this is for footage purposes only. I give a, a diamond casino to everybody after, I didn't. But either way, it's very annoying because there is no gain for them at all. And if you're doing a business, it tells them to go after you. So that's one thing, but it is still very annoying. A big mood killer that I particularly run into very often is when you buy a car and you've been sitting on it for a while, you're kind of deciding if you should buy it or not. And then you see the car go on sale. This is incredibly annoying because there's no way to know this. People used to make videos on like what will happen every event week. Now they make it every Wednesday, but either way, you still have to wait every Wednesday, every week to figure out the discounts and everything. And I don't even know if people still make those videos, but it's very annoying. I used to run into it very often back in the days when I didn't have every car in the game. Now I have pretty much every car in the game, so I don't buy many cars to begin with. But when newer cars come out, sometimes I sit on them for a week or two, see if they come out with a discount and they usually do. A big mood killer I've been running into lately is you're trying to RP as a cop pulling people over and then they just blow you up or kill you. Now, I'm not saying I'm forcing a play style on other players because I never want to do that. That's very annoying and I hate when people try to do that with me. But like you don't have to blow me up like if you don't want to rp then that's fine just drive to wherever you're going and i'll understand this is usually what happens people drive to their garage and i'm like okay they're not trying to rp because they went in their garage they're obviously they have no interest in what i'm doing so i leave them alone i go with someone else but you don't have to blow me up or kill me it's just very annoying and if you do this in gta 5 online please stop today an absolutely devastating mood killer is when i do a high setup once i mean i do it every so often but you know whatever regardless and we're almost done with the high setup and then an, someone on the team fails in the most stupid way here we got to the hangar uh for the prison break setup where you steal the vellum and the guy messed up somehow i think he blew up the plane but you're literally here all you do is park it and he was all the way in the corner the opposite corner and the plane got destroyed and now we're failed something i find very very annoying is the input glitch that has been in the game for literally like i think since the current generation of consoles has been out the standalone gta 5 online it has been in the game here in this clip i got it but i was waiting a little bit because i had just finished a mc business sale and i didn't want to lose the money from leaving too early so i waited a little bit like four minutes and it actually unfroze which is very strange i've never seen it unfreeze before but usually it does not unfreeze and it's just very annoying when it happens because there's nothing you could do you have to reset gta 5 online and if this happens during a mission setup or something like that, you have to fail that as well, which is extremely annoying. Definitely a big mood killer. Once again, in this particular clip, I regain control, but usually this does not happen. Very annoying and Rockstar should fix this ASAP. Something else I find just quite frankly, very annoying in general is when you're at a clothing store or Los Santos Customs and then somebody kills you for no reason. And it's similar to the oppressor one, but this is just more like, going out of your way here i was just shopping and this dude just tries to kill me and he kind of sucks at it i'm not sure what he's trying to do so i go over there i don't know if he's hostile or not go towards the door and i find out he's hostile something else i find very annoying and something that definitely kills my mood is rockstar's profanity system in the texting app in the game so you can type kill but you can't type lol which totally makes sense because lol is obviously profane and should not be spoken by anyone in the world and i spoke about this a while ago in a long video ago so older subscribers may remember but it just makes no sense to me how an m-rated game 
there is a profanity text system <laughs> like what like here this guy's talking about killing people but i can't reply lol like what something that absolutely crushes my mood when it occurs is when you get a special crate text from your assistant but it is too late if you don't know these special crate texts are on a timer basically and you have a certain amount of time to go and pick up the crate or else it will go away not to mention if the crate gets destroyed while you're trying to get it it will be gone forever and even if you restart your game the special crate will not be there and this wouldn't be so bad it wouldn't kill my mood that much but special crates are incredibly rare i have been grinding a lot the past few weeks honestly i've been really in my grinding phase and i have not gotten one special crate text and i do i do bunker stuff i source special crates i just can't get a special cargo crate for some reason a special item that is i really do not know what it is i do send my employees to go get crates and sometimes occasionally they will get the disc crate which is the item you saw in the first clip um it's like that little disc record player looking thing and it's only ninety-five thousand. but there is a career progress where you have to source all special crates all special items and that is Ugh, I'm trying to grind the career progress right now, but that sounds absolutely impossible to me. I don't know how the hell I'll ever get that, but it is just so annoying when I finally do get a crate message and I'm AFK or doing something and I miss it and then it's lost forever. I don't have a clip of this because it doesn't happen very often. Once again, I don't get special crates very often. Uh, but yeah, next time it does happen, I'm going to clip it and make it into a short or something and you will all see how annoying it is. Something that definitely does kill my mood is when I'm just trying to have fun mess around with my Torador or Scramjet and I swear, these things are magnets to any body of water. Whether it is a lake, a pool, in a house's backyard, the ocean, whatever, any sort of water. These things are attracted to it. Now, I actually forgot I was in the Torador there and I didn't switch into the submarine mode. You don't actually sink if you don't, but you go very slow. So I did eventually remember that I was in the Torador and I went in the submarine mode. But regardless, these things like in this, how is this even possible? It's just so, <laughs> I don't even know. Once again, I'm in the Torador, so it's not too annoying, but the Scramjet is not submersible. So if you get in one of these in a Scramjet, you are dead. Something that also very much kills my mood, especially because I'm in my grinder phase, is when you get raided while afk now i don't have any footage of this because i'm afk when it happens and by the time i go back and try to capture the past 10 minutes or something it's not there but this is just very annoying in general now i get that there are ways to prevent being raided while afk like for example you could just not be a ceo or a motorcycle club president and you will not get raided but it's just annoying that it could happen regardless and a lot of these raids are very time sensitive like you can get there and by the time you're there you already lost a quarter of your product and there is nothing you can do about it and that is even in the event of you making it there in time most of the time that does not happen most of the time it's afk and i lose the product and i don't even know what happens in my opinion raids are in desperate need of a rework for a very long time ever since they've been out really because they are just so unfair depending on where you are in the map like if you're in Puerto bay finishing up a setup or something and you get raided and the raid is in los santos your product is gone that's it and even if it's not one of these time sensitive raids sometimes it's like you take a vehicle from point a to point b and that's it but if the vehicle gets blown up then that's it you lose all the products you have and these vehicles are not armored or nothing they're just regular there is a mission actually in the bunker where it is a valkyrie um but that valkyrie is very weak and you get buzzards chasing after you they constantly shoot you and there's nothing you can do if you're solo if it seems like i'm ranting it's because i am but yeah overall raids are very bad very unhealthy for the game in my opinion it's just rockstar's way of slowing you down of making money throwing in some rng with it and very annoying kills my mood whenever it happens when i'm offline but even in general a quick side note here this is not part of the video but i was just grinding doing getting footage whatever and this guy was camping outside of my motorcycle club my meth lab waiting for me to start a mission so we could blow stuff up this is a mood killer but i didn't even i wasn't gonna put this in the video but it just happened spontaneously so i go outside i don't start a mission and he's trying to blow me up with rpgs whip out the old trusty grenade launcher because he's within range of it and i just start blasting and i actually do kill him and that's because mostly he sucks he was a level 300 he wasn't you know insanely high of a level but it's still very annoying that people go out to do this you know like just mind your own business going back to me grinding for the career progress i've been grinding import export missions for uh, vehicle cargo and whatnot and something that kills my mood I, this is the biggest one in the video i swear to you it is the fact that npcs whenever you're doing these cell missions blatantly try to crash into you it's even worse with server side ping because more players in the lobby means that more npcs have to be registered and the ones that are registered are very badly programmed or whatever and they just 
it's insanely stupid quick side note but very very annoying and that is it, everyone some of the worst mood killers in gta 5 online sorry for the inconsistency and uploads it's just been a bit chaotic recently but should go back to normal i promise you and i really do appreciate you all for watching if you did enjoy please like and subscribe it really really does help i've been saying in the past few videos but it really does help the youtube algorithm is very inconsistent and when it is consistent it's inconsistent if you get what i mean but yeah thank you all for watching if you really enjoy my content you can become a member with the link in the description for five dollars a month you will get a custom license plate in your name you only have to do it once if you would like to keep on recurring it then you may be welcome but you will get a custom license plate and if you cancel it it will still be there i will not get rid of it thank you all for watching have a great day and goodbye